So we'll be talking about contrast enhanced CT of the chest uh, today and we will try and see how we use intravenous contrast um, for evaluating various structures within the chest. Why do we use contrast? What is the basic principle of doing so? If you see here on the left is a plain scan where you can't really differentiate the vessels from the lymph nodes or from any of the other structures in the mediastinum. On the right, the arrow points to the pulmonary artery which is opacified uh, by contrast and the arrowhead shows the lymph node which doesn't pick up the intravenous contrast to that extent and can be separately easily distinguishable from the pulmonary artery. So, since the vessels enhance differently after giving contrast, we can separate out the vessels from the other structures in the mediastinum. Also, the pattern of enhancement, whether these are nodules in the lungs or lymph nodes, the patterns are different and that also allows us some form of better tissue characterization. For example, the lymph node in the paratracheal region on the left shows homogeneous enhancement which means it is non-necrotic whereas the lymph node on the right shows necrosis. Only the periphery is enhancing, the rest of the node is not picking up the dye as you can see in the rest of the vessels. And the presence of necrosis in the appropriate setting in our country often allows us to make a diagnosis of tuberculosis in the young patient, perhaps metastatic disease in the elderly if the patient has a known primary. Dual energy scanners have allowed us to use contrast even better. Uh, typically, we have two beams of different energies, perhaps at 80 kV or 120 kV. This allows us to use less radiation during the scan. It allows us to use lesser contrast. So typically, if we were using 80 to 100 cc to do a traditional CT scan, we can go down to 50 or 60 ml. We can do perfusion and permeability maps and we can do tissue characterization as I can show you here. So here's one patient who has a nodule in the left mid zone in 2016. It was there in 2013 but not there in 2010. And the question is, is this a benign lesion because it's not grown over three years or is there a malignant potential? You can see the nodule very well visualized on this perfusion map and if you see carefully there is no enhancement at all and we've done the iodine map here and we do not see any evidence of iodine pickup within the nodule telling us that this is almost likely to be benign coupled with the fact that it's not grown over three years uh, and we've, we're following up this patient but this has been labeled to be